I'm here in beautiful Charleston, West Virginia to ride two of the Hatfield McCoy trail systems. But you might be wondering why it looks like I just got off a plane. Well, the truth is I did just get off of a plane and you could too, if you want to experience a little of what Hatfield McCoy has to offer. You don't need to bring all the toys along with you. Heck, you don't even need to own an ATV or side-by-side -side to go on a trip like this. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it all on this episode of Dirt Tracks. Charleston is in the heart of West Virginia and offers perfect access to two Hatfield McCoy trail systems. Ivy Branch, a favorite to many visitors and Jeep friendly to boot, and the all new Cabway Lingo, just minutes outside the fun-filled city of Charleston, where you'll find a wide variety of sights and experiences to make your Hatfield McCoy trails trip an all-encompassing experience that will not only tick a box on your bucket list, but open your eyes to the fun and adventure West Virginia offers. From the beautiful downtown landscape and architecture to the majestic and mighty Kanawha River, Charleston is a gem waiting for you to explore, all within minutes of world-renowned off-road adventure. Truly, this is almost heaven. Now, I want to expand on my travels here because I've never actually been to West Virginia and Hatfield McCoy without a truck, trailer, and off-road vehicles. But I want to show you just how accommodating and kind the people in the Hatfield region actually are. And more so, I want those of you watching who might not even own an ATV or side-by-side -side to know that you can have an experience just like this with nothing more than just a little bit of planning and a plane ticket. Or if you're a seasoned veteran of off-roading but might live north of the border or multiple states away, you don't need to worry about loading up and driving cross country to take in all that Hatfield McCoy Trails has to offer. After you arrive in Charleston, you have a wide variety of accommodations available to you from hotels and motels, or my personal favorite, all of the specialty lodges located in and around each and every one of the trail systems and owned by incredible locals who are the heart and soul of this off-road mecca. The next obvious steps after you arrive here in West Virginia and have your accommodations is to figure out what trail system that you want to ride and then book the side-by-sides that you want to rent. If you're in the area or passing by, you can always stop by the largest of the welcome centers in Julian, only 20 miles south of Charleston, and get any and all of the info you could ever ask about all of the systems, and it doesn't hurt that they're loaded up with merchandise as well. The first trail system that I recommend visiting if you're staying in or around the Charleston area is Ivy Branch. It's located only 30 minutes outside of the city center. This trail system is easy to access and offers roughly 60 miles or 100 kilometers of ATV and side-by-side -side, as well as ORV friendly trails. Each of the Hatfield McCoy trail systems have a welcome center that's staffed during business hours and you can purchase your trail pass, sign your waiver and even buy cool clothing and memorabilia to prove that you were here. And for this location, we were able to work with Backcountry Rentals who delivered us two absolutely mint Kawasaki 800cc Terexes. When you rent from Backcountry Rentals, you're fully covered. They provide the insurance, helmet, and goggles if you need them as well. They also don't charge you for cleaning the machine if it gets really dirty, should you find some mud. Their side-by-sides are all equipped with Bluetooth stereos, and delivery of either two or four seat side-by-sides can be arranged with them. On the Ivy Branch ride, I had along with me the marketing director of Hatfield McCoy Trails, Chris Zito. We also had the trail manager for the Ivy Branch system who was leading us on this ride. Ivy Branch to me is the obvious first stop if you plan to fly down for your experience. But don't for a second think that because it's close to the city that you're not out in the country. This trail system is as wild and wonderful as the rest and offers you a great variety of both wide and sporty trails as well as tighter and more technical trails should you desire that type of riding. Ivy Branch also has quite a selection of aggressive technical ORV trails for the Jeep and off-road truck enthusiasts that are sure to test your skills. Many times I forget to stop and take it all in, but when you're here in the heart of the hills and the Appalachian Mountains, you just can't help but feel something. It's more than just an off-road adventure, it's an exploration of a place that's more spectacular and impressive than you can imagine. And when you're here in the heart of the Ivy Branch system and you get to take it all in, you quickly realize that these trails are maintained to a level that I haven't experienced in over 20 years of riding. And maintenance, signage, and also adding in cool and unique access points is what Hatfield is all about. Later on in our ride at Ivy Branch, we stop by a really cool river that the trail runs directly past. As you drive under the active railroad tracks, there's a very large staging area, as well as a brand new cement boat launch. Now this isn't your typical boat launch. No, this is for kayaks, tubes, or paddle boards to drop into the river. 
There are multiple exit locations downstream from this point for adventure seekers to get out of the river, and also rental companies who will arrange to drop you off at the launch and then pick you up at an exit point. It's these kind of extra features that will make your trip to Hatfield McCoy Trails even more enjoyable for you and your entire family and allow you to add on extra days and even build in cool adventures like this between trail riding days. One of the unique features about the Ivy Branch system is the ORV use and access to the Jeeps and off-road trucks. On this trail system, it's completely legal to be in your Jeep or truck. So if you don't choose to fly down, but pull the trailer with your lifted truck or Jeep, feel free to add in an extra day for adventure in a different way by heading out at a slower pace. The trails are easy to navigate, wide and well-marked for those looking to try their hand at some fun Jeep or truck driving. The thing I like about this the most is that many outlaw or unmarked off-road trails will be tight, treed and unmaintained, which is a perfect recipe for damage to your vehicle. But here at Ivy Branch and any of the ORV legal Hatfield McCoy trail systems, you know that you're getting into trails that are extremely well marked as well as graded in difficulty so you don't end up where you shouldn't be. Ivy Branch is an excellent mix and offers you everything that the Hatfield McCoy trail systems are known for. It definitely didn't disappoint. And for day two, I've got another trail system that's brand new, equally beautiful and also equally unique. Cabway Lingo is an interesting name and has a unique history here in the Hatfield McCoy system as it's the first collaboration between both Hatfield McCoy trails and a state forest. The two groups have come together to form the trail system and offer amenities that you might not find on site at other locations, such as large picnic structures, barrack style camping for large groups, and historic on-site log cabins that are fully modernized with air conditioning and satellite TV. The feel from arrival is very state forest-like with a historical vintage that dates back to the 1930s in Wayne County. The name you might be wondering is a combination of the neighboring counties of Cabell, Wayne, Lincoln, and Mingo, and they give you the Cabway Lingo State Park and Hatfield McCoy Trail System name. The Cabway Lingo Trail System is located just a little ways off the beaten path, but it's still very accessible, and it's a must see if you're visiting this area of West Virginia. Much like Ivy Branch, we're using a local rental supplier for side-by-sides on this trip, and it requires nothing more than our rental car to get us here. The folks from Premier Power Sports dropped us off two Kawasaki Terex 800 four-seaters for our adventure. Like the other supplier, everything is provided, and you can arrange delivery to your destination to make for a worry-free adventure. Chris Zito was along for the ride with me again this day, and we had two of the local trail managers leading us through this truly unique trail system. As you wind up the hills, one thing that I'm not used to seeing is all of the cool structures and the campgrounds and the fire pits. I mean, this truly is a state forest. And then once you get to the top of the highest hill on the trails, there's another unique thing that you need to go see. The old fire watchtower is still remaining, although not in use and not accessible. You can enjoy the journey up and around the area though with your side-by-side. The rock work to build up this hill is impressive in itself, and I can only imagine must have been a massive job to accomplish nearly a century ago. The trails allow you to drive 360 degrees around the tower and walk up to the base of the tower. However, because of its age, it's fenced off for safety. I was instantly drawn to Cabway Lingo because it has so many of these little nuggets of cool all over the system. And I'm excited for you guys to be able to get out and see all the unique things that I was able to experience there. The diversity and elevation at Cabway is instantly noticeable. And while Ivy Branch did have elevation, Cabway is unique unto itself. I almost instantly noticed the feel of the forest to have much more evergreen tree coverage, which left parts of the forest easy to look through and spot the trail ahead. It was really quite cool to peer through the trees and see the trail ahead, but also being able to notice the dramatic changes in elevation and the continuously winding trails that add a lot of fun and character. And maybe it's just me feeling nostalgic, but while driving out in the state forest, I got a real sense of history here. It felt like you were blasted back into the 1930s when this was first created. And I was left wondering, who might have wandered through these hills? Who might have camped in the very spots we stopped? In the world of Hatfield McCoy trails, Cabway holds a special place on my must-see list, both for the incredible maintenance and the fun trails and the blending together of the history of the state forest. One of the benefits of my job is that when I go to places like this, I get to hang out with the people who know the most about it, and therefore they also know the best places to go, so I get to go there and then come back, tell you about it, so that you can go there when you visit. While wandering the 60 plus miles or 100 kilometers of Cabway Trail, I came around a corner and was taken back by the landscape that seemed to swallow up the entire trail. 
One of the very cool stops at Cabway is a massive rock overhang that actually projects out and over the trails to the point that you can actually park multiple side-by-sides under the overhang. If you come to Cabway Lingo and it's raining, come up here on what trail is this? 22. 22, and you're gonna find this. And it's pretty cool. Take shelter, but also take pictures. I couldn't help but get out and admire the sheer mass of this piece of earth. I wondered who else had stopped here for refuge out of the rain in the past nearly 100 years, and how different we are from then till now, able to access this spot with relative ease. The history and the hills of West Virginia are real, and you can experience it with Hatfield McCoy trails. Well, the start of our day was slightly colder and a little bit overcast. As the day rolled on, the sun came out and the temps went up, and we were able to experience much more of the trails that were vast and open that Cabway had to offer. Cabway Lingo is another one of the ORV-friendly Hatfield McCoy trail systems, so you can take your Jeep or truck out on the trails. And that means the trails are much wider than many you will experience on some of the other systems. The wider trails are not just fun for the trucks and Jeeps, but they're much more comfortable, especially if you're a first-time off-road adventurer. The extra width will allow easy passing of oncoming vehicles and a little more room to build your confidence. And like all other Hatfield McCoy trail systems, Cabway is maintained to the highest level. Cabway is a very unique trail system and it's located about an hour and a half from Ivy Branch and almost two hours from Charleston. So finding accommodation here is key. Should you not stay right on site at the State Forest, located a short but very dramatic and beautiful drive up into the hills from Cabway Lingo, is the local ATV and side-by-side -side friendly accommodation called Rustic Ravines. Featuring rentals from Premier Power Sports on site, multiple unique cabins and yurts, as well as a huge outdoor covered entertainment area, this place has it all. Should you want to have a little fun, they offer a huge zip line, an archery walk with hunting targets, and a full service restaurant on site, as well as a cozy little camp store with all the essentials. Hatfield McCoy Trails truly is an off-roader's mecca, but just because you live at a greater distance than you feel you'd like to drive, or because you're not yet an off-roader, but would like to come and experience all the cool stuff that we're showing you, doesn't mean that you can't. All you need is a plane ticket and a rental car to come down and experience why West Virginia is so wild and wonderful.